back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you guys an in-depth tour of our van named Samba. It's a 73 Volkswagen adventure wagon and it's super, super awesome and we love driving in it. There's another Westie! Nice waving. <laughs> Respect. cows. They're actually kind of big, but... <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Ryan and I'm gonna show you our 1973 Volkswagen Adventure Wagon camper bus. So this is something that we sought out to get last winter. Uh, we got it in Whitefish, Montana. People are really sweet. They're giving you the peace signs. They're really nice to you. They're always waving. It's just really fun. Um, but I'd always wanted one of these growing up in Santa Cruz and seeing such an iconic vehicle living in a beach town. This is a little bit of a different one and it's really rare. And when we talk about it, uh, you'll know why. So this is called the Adventure Wagon because on the Adventure Wagons, they all got these hard shell high top that I can stand inside of and do some cooking and the canvas pop tops are cool like the Westphalia's, but those can rot out and they're really small. So you'd have to like park and actually camp out somewhere with this. You have a hard high top at all times. Right here was is where the spare tire goes. And when our next project, which should be pretty soon, is to get all new tires and to get like the original hubcaps and all that. But this is a little tire mount and it's pretty cool. So when the tire's on there, it looks like a little face. Um, and they have some pretty sweet tire covers that have the emblem on them. But as you can see, this is a 73, almost a 50 year old vehicle and the paint's amazing shape. Um, it's, it's been in a garage, like I said, for over 30 years in Montana. Uh, so we'll do a quick little walk around. So you have the high vents right here. We're gonna go around and show you the sliding door. Um, the engines on these guys are in the back for anyone that has no idea about older style buses when you have the engine. And one thing I was really stoked on is the shape of this engine. Again, almost being 50 years old. This is the original rebuilt engine. It's got less than 100,000 miles. This part flips up. We'll do this a little bit later. And again, we have the curtains over here and then you have to the driver's side. So why don't we, why don't we start with the driver's side? Oh, I got it here. So this is really interesting on these buses. Uh, the first thing that I noticed when I drove it was the pedal and the brakes. It's not like a typical car where the brake and gas pedal goes into the firewall. Here it goes into the ground. So you literally feel like you're driving a bus, which is really awesome to feel. They don't have power steering, but it's really not that big of a deal because you have this big pizza saucer pan that's right over your knees when you're driving this thing. And it's super easy because instead of driving the pull steering wheel like this, you're just going like this. It's pretty fun to drive too because you can see out, you're like in a giant bubble. Um, we've had a couple little renovations with this thing. We got new visors for it. Um, we get all our stuff at buzzdepot.com for the most part. It replaced this driver's uh, mirror because the first one was really cracked, original. The panels are in pretty good shape. The original owner, or the previous owner, had these speakers put in which do work, uh, but it was for a CD player. This is a little vent, so you can get some air that can come in there. Old school window, so nothing's electric on this thing. Um, let's go around to the passenger side. Minor upgrades like the new little wiper blades, because you can imagine the other one's real torn up. What I love about it is I had wanted something for the original parts because I figured it'd be so cool to find something to just see because I love the old school colors. Here you got like the yellow they had. Um, and this is a table that just sits in right here. And it can also, it can also adjust to there. Um, so it's really cool if you want to have food or do whatever you want on this table um, that hooks on. So it's a little easy, convenient. For this, we have the little cup holder was an accessory and that's something a lot of bus drivers use because um, there's really not much of a cup holder. It was a cigarette tray. So we took that out, threw this in there. Um, we're gonna be installing a parcel tray. So when you see the next video, you're gonna see a completely different inside of this bus. This is gonna be a nice parcel tray that's gonna have drink holders and just stuff to throw in there. 
there, there's a button that goes right here, and there's a button that goes right here. So if we wanna get some more curtain material, it buttons up to have a extra curtain. Um, and the history on these things are really cool. Uh, back in like the original catalog, this used to be a little cotton thing that laid out for the kids to sleep in because it was a family camper. So the kids would sleep over here. It was kind of crazy. Uh, it's got simple defroster, heater, not the best heating, the vents, but nothing like a modern car. I mean, you have your defroster switch right here. Um, you have your emergency brake. You have the light switch, the hazard lights. Everything's just push and pull. Uh, you might not have noticed this, but this is an automatic transmission, which is pretty crazy because 73 uh, was the first year that they made automatic transmission. There was something you would pay like an extra couple hundred out of the factory for them to custom make it for you. Um, so this is literally, I don't know the number, but it's like 10% automatic transmissions in these things. Um, so they're super rare. So every time I see a Volkswagen guy, they're like, wow, it's crazy, that's an automatic. And it is, but it's really nice because again, these cars are high maintenance. So it's kind of nice. I don't have to worry about a clutch or have to replace. You know, we call these things the bread box because when you're <laughs> driving, these aren't the most aerodynamic vehicles. It moves around a lot, but that makes part of the fun. Let's take a look at the inside of this thing. This is the most fun part everyone wants to see. This is the inside. These are some crazy colors. The yellow with the brown scheme. This is all original. For me, I was stoked because it's nice to see something almost 50 years old to have all the original pieces. And it was kind of funny, it was a little trippy to see all the colors they used to use back in the 70s. Uh, so take a guess what this is for. This is for uh, like a culinary station. If you want to cut, you're doing your barbecuing because right here you have your stove top and it runs off a propane tank so you can fill up at any gas station. So you turn this little nozzle. Uh, we had some new hoses put in for the propane so it's nice and much more safe. Doing everything ourselves for the inside. So shout out the Home Depot for that. <laughs> and this is gonna close up. But the way Volkswagen use their space for these guys is incredible because this is literally like driving a car and it's really roomy. Over six feet tall and I can almost stand all the way up but it's much better than a West Folia where I'd have to be crouched like this and pop this heavy rotten canvas up in the air. So as you can see up here, this is all storage. Uh, we're having the panels, panel wood replaced. It had the original ones, which was pretty cool, but we wanted something a little bit nicer on the eyes. And this originally has a little wood cabinetry that opens up and we're having that redone. Then you're also gonna have this nice curtain that's gonna cover all this. We have a really funky looking curtain that's really cool. Um, so for more privacy, so literally you could, people live in these things nowadays, it's crazy. Um, so tons of storage up here. We have, as I mentioned, we have the stove. Um, I'm gonna pull this little pin screw out of here. And you got a little fridge and it's battery operated. It's really cool, you can hear it running. I mean, this is in the 73 refrigerator. It's pretty <laughs> cool that it runs. It's got a little storage here. So here I keep some tools, but you can slide some like silverware in here, utensils. Um, again, I love the innovative designs on these guys. Table right here. It's got a sink. Um, it's got more storage um, under here. It's got a little vanity mirror hey that guys. slides out. <laughs> uh, it's really awesome. And right here we have a little closet or a closet hook, but it's mainly for the water tank. Um, so it can hold many gallons of water in there. It's got a table extension. And what was right here under this nice couch, uh, towel curtain that we're gonna, we just use this for privacy, but it's got a table that was right here that was screwed in. You can see kind of the holes. We're gonna get this all replaced, this wood, um, and have a table, have the original table where we can just like pop it on and pop it off. But this would be a full size table. Would is, Alex, that, is that your Bible, Ryan? Yeah, this is the Volkswagen Bible. <laughs> so how to keep your Volkswagen alive. Um, this is like every bus owner has one of these things just because of how high maintenance they are and it makes you appreciate modern technology, but these are a lot more fun to drive. Originally, a bench seat right here. And we took that out. It was kind of a little bit rotten and we want, we want something nice. So 
At home, we're gonna be installing a rock and roll bed that it's gonna be a typical bench seat like this. You're gonna lift the bottom bench up. This will all be wood covered with storage. So that will be super helpful to keep our batteries and have more storage and use the space up. And then this bed would literally pull out and it's gonna go about here. So it's gonna be a nice, almost six feet double size bed. Super roomy in here. Um, there's a lot of options we can do with this thing. We can put some cabinetry or some boards laying across here for extra storage. We're both tall, we like the extra space. Um, but super fun. Uh, we have some insulation going on in the back there to help keep it warm. We're gonna cover all that up with some nice wood. These curtains are all custom made. Um, so we went to the fabric store. We made a lot of trips to Home Depot. Again, these are curtain wires, do it yourself. Um, just because a lot of these pieces are hard to find. And those are original, right? The other side? These are original rods, yeah. Um, so they're still not in the best shape, but they really work well because it was made for it. And you combine the two? I combined two there just to make it work. But yeah, there's just old white rods. Had We had a new um, van on top replaced. And again, what, what I love- What happened to the old one, Ryan? The old one flew off when we were in Montana <laughs> getting this thing towed out of there. Um, I don't know if you know much about the backstory on Montana, but we went there during Christmas time where it was snowing. Um, and I did write about it on my blog. Yeah, and they thought we were crazy. They thought we were crazy that we didn't drive this thing back, but with black ice, no power steering, this thing needed a little bit of mechanical work. It would have been a nightmare driving this thing out of there. And especially the lights, because these don't have high beam lights, those are something extra. I think this is pretty much it. We have some storage right here. It had this nice floors um, that the previous owner had put in, which is awesome. That saved us a ton of money. Back to the back in the trunk area. Real quick, you see this right here. They call these things air-cooled for a reason. These buses don't have radiators. So you, when you're in hot weather, you don't want to drive too fast or overkill the engine because they could light up in flames. And this is air cooled because the cold air, these again are ideal in beach cities or coastal temperatures where it's nice and cool because when you're driving, that's what's cooling the engine is the air. So there's no water, there's no radiator. It's not water cooled, but that just adds to the fun. This is really fun because when we have this renovated, this is gonna be all nice and covered with foam cushioning. Again, this is gonna be a bed, so you can post up to the beach. You're gonna have this where you can lay down. Um, and we have already used that, but we've gone to the point now where we really wanna get that new bed in there and make it super comfortable and much more bigger. And most buses aren't gonna have this because this was, again, a custom feature. If you got the automatic, it had this little tag on it. So that was Ryan giving you guys a tour of the outside and the inside of the bus. If you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Check out my blog, alexslife.com, and I will see you guys next time. So like every great adventure, there's always a pit stop. The van is thumping a little bit, so we figured might as well pull over, call AAA just in case, go check it out. Well, we happen to be, we happen to have pulled over on a side road where a random dude just popped out of nowhere and says, hey, like what's going on over there? And I, we said, well, we gotta call AAA. He's like, let me take a look at it. Ryan right now is in the back with a guy. This is what I see. <laughs> the dude is really cool. Where He pulled out his toolbox. He's in the back right now helping Ryan out. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we're back on the road pretty soon. <laughs> this is kind of like one of those moments out of a horror movie where you're like, 